Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a look at some of the Ruger also sidearms uh, issued to uh, law enforcement agencies uh, across the EU, across uh, other parts of the world and in the United States. This is a Ruger Mini 14. This is a 187 series dated from the 1980s. This is in calibre 0.223 Remington. Uh, you see a 10 round detachable magazine. This is uh, legally compliant here in, in Ireland. We also have a Ruger SP 101 or variant. And uh, not a, a GP100. Uh, you see, this holster is marked for GP100. I don't possess a Ruger GP100. Uh, the example in the holster is roughly the same size and same dimensions as a, a GP100 revolver in uh, 357, and the SP100, uh, SP101, also chambered in 357. The Mini 14, uh, as I mentioned, chambered in 0.223. Uh, these carbines saw wide acceptance uh, with law enforcement agencies uh, across the United States um, and uh, departments of, uh, of corrections, and also with law enforcement agencies uh, around the world, uh, most notably the French Gendarmerie adopted the Ruger Mini 14 as the Muscatin AMD and the Royal Ulster Constabulary also adopted the Ruger Mini 14 in 0.223. Um, the reason for its adoption uh, more so with, with uh, civilian armed services as opposed to uh, military armed services uh, Quite simply, it could d deliver the firepower of um, other semi-auto 5.56 shoulder arms, but in its wooden stock, more like a sporting, uh, a sporter configuration, it was seen as less intimidating for for civilian. Uh, use. The Mini 14 is extremely robust, very very reliable. Um, listed as being self-cleaning, no, no rifle is actually self-cleaning, it does um, need to be cleaned. However, the gas block, which is here, would not need to be as cleaned as regularly as often as uh, one of the AR platforms. Uh, the Ruger revolvers see here in SP101 this is a 5 shot we see the piece is unloaded um, very reliable, very durable and gain wide acceptance with uh, law enforcement agencies uh, around the world also op also issued to the Royal Ulster Constabulary as a replacement for uh, the previous Ruger Security 6 and Ruger Single 6 or Ruger Speed 6 <coughs> uh, and the Ruger GP100 uh, GP meaning general purpose uh, I actually can't explain the 100 and the 101 also unknown to me but SP is for a special purpose. These rifles also were, <coughs> were in service with the uh, Hong Kong uh, Municipal Police, Hong Kong uh, Department of Corrections, uh, Honduras Department of Corrections and Honduras uh, Law Enforcement 
and uh, in Australia with the New South Wales uh, Police and Department of Corrections. So here we have examples of uh, two point two two three. Uh, semi-auto rifles in sorry in the uh, caliber point two two three uh, we have a Ruger mini 14 this is a 187 series and an M4 now we see both pieces are unloaded your flags in both Uh, previously, previously I mentioned uh, the widespread adoption of the Ruger Mini 14 with law enforcement agencies across the United States and also in other parts of the world, uh, including the Royal Ulster Constabulary, uh, the French Gendarmerie, and also forces in Asia and Australia. Uh, it's commonly believed the reason for the adoption of the Mini 14 uh, was well it, its availability and it was available to uh, law enforcement and to uh, military units to saw adoption with uh, the Royal Bermuda Regiment uh, up until its replacement by the L1A1 and uh, this was available in uh, the select fire option had a select fire lever uh, above the on part of the, the receiver and also the French Gendarmerie uh, Muscadon AMD also was a select fire model with the fire selector on the on the receiver uh, at the time of those adoptions in the late 1970s early and 1980s up to the early 1990s um, the the AR platform as we see here was pretty much only available from one source from Colt which made them a very very expensive option um, the Ruger platform could deliver pretty much the same firepower at a, a keener price point and also in uh, a more acceptable, shall we say, um, less intimidating uh, package than a scary black rifle, uh, what would be returned today as an assault rifle. But um, let's not go down that rabbit hole. So. Uh, the Ruger is very uh, functional, very reliable, a manual arms, a manual of arms that uh, a lot of people would have been accustomed to at the time, uh, as the RUC previously were issued with models of uh, M1 and M2 carbine, which has uh, almost identical manual of arms, which fired um, .30 carbine which is pretty much a, a, a pistol round. It was probably sufficient for policing, but they wanted something a, a, a little extra in um, terms of velocity with uh, 0.223 or 556. Uh, thank you for watching our presentation and have a nice day.